Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 4. Last time, we had a intense battle with the boss. If you want to know what no. happened, I have to check last episode, because I'm telling you, it really was intense and really, really heartwarming. Anyway, we left here right in the Courageous, and I do have five bonding events. But we are going to go through the Courageous. First, let's check the missions before I do that. Let's see how many press. Only two. House or assistance. I was originally... Oh, Tovo. I was originally supposed to tackle this request, but my plan kind of overfloweth at the moment. You guys think you can check it out for me? All I know is Kai and Tilly are having some trouble with an especially ordinary monster over towards Alster. I'm pretty sure they'd be happy to see you again anyhow. Okay. Yes. Got another monster. A powerful monster has been spotted in the North Langdok Canyon. Monster, Eid Vanas. Langdok Canyon North. We should be able to handle it on our own, but we'll have to act quickly. Okay. Uh, I will do that, but as I said, I am going to explore the ship. And the way I'm going to divide these bonding events, since uh, I don't want everything to be side quests. I don't know how long this is going to be. So, probably... Two bonding events, side missions. Two bonding events, side missions. Anyway, I'm going to explore the ship and see what is new. Nope, character no for Gustav, talking to him. So I am getting ingredients to kind of get gifts for people on the Courageous and uh, I run into a quest. It's about time for Leo to get here. Oh, you're that instructor for Thor's. Do you see Leo on your way here? Sorry, I haven't seen her. She did say she was planning to visit, right? Of course, that's why I'm preparing my special paella for her while I wait. She's late, but it's probably nothing to worry about. I'll bet she just wants to look around town. Give it a little longer. <laughs> I see. It's really just late. Maybe we should shake up on her. What's more, I'm sensing some kind of murderous aura nearby. Let's take a look out front, just in case. Super Swimming Showdown. Okay. Ah, this is what I came to buy. <laughs> I'll be back later for this, though. Don't you worry. Oh, character note from Becky because of that. Cool. Give us a shout and I'll get you what you need. A wishing star. Let's get that. And we can also get the Imperial Chronicle 9. Oh, hey, Sharon. You know, Sharon, knowing you're in the galley always puts me incredibly at ease. What? Galley? <laughs> it's an honor to hear that. All this makes me think back to those times at the tri in the Trista dormitory. It's already been about two years since then, hasn't it? That sounds about right. Time really does fly, doesn't it? You know, you really did a lot for me when I was a student. You're even the blade master at the school festival. <laughs> that is indeed a fond memory of mine. Though it seems like Blade has been overtaken by Madage Masters lately. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You always did have your finger on the pulse, Churn. Although I only started playing myself recently, I brushed up on the fundamentals on the at least. Would you care for a round or two, Master Reen? You say you brushed up on the fundamentals, but I get the feeling you'll be a tough opponent regardless. 
that's the case, I'd love to play together sometime. <laughs> I very much look forward to it. Then let's kick ass. As you wish. Goodbye. I humbly accept my defeat. My gorb. Guys. Get out. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, pretty good, right? This is the latest recipe. Blue cheese soup. I reduced it a whole lot to really bring out the ingredients essential flavors. I well, listen. I got nothing against the blue cheese. <clears throat> well, listen, I got nothing against the blue cheese in itself. But getting in such concentrated form, it's a little overwhelming. It packs a real punch, that's for sure. I knew you guys would like it. It took a whole lot of work, but knowing it measures up to ca Class 7's high standards make it all worth it. Okay, this is absolutely not what I said. I'm getting some serious stage over here. Fermented goods are a big part of Noel cuisine, but I've never encountered anything that would smell this pungent. Still, so you can't knock it until you try it. I'll just have to let my taste buds be the judge over my nose. On another note, I've been meaning to ask, do you play Pom Pom Party Reen? So yeah, don't tell me you do too. I wouldn't expect you to be a type to get into that sort of thing. <laughs> well, it caught my eye while I was toying around with the orbital computer on the Merkaba. Care to play around a true with me when you get some spare time? Sure, that'd be fun. I'll talk when I beat Gaius after my 10th try, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I had the wind at my back. 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 Are you I had the wind at my back. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. You're easy on me. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I had the wind at my back. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. Go easy on me. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. Go easy on me. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. Go easy on me. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. Go easy on me. <laughs> I had the wind at my back. Go easy on me. <laughs> Fuck, I had the wind man. At my back. Well played. Oh my god. I legit think I lost more than 10 times. Oh my god, that was intense. I hate you guys. I hate you. No, screw you. Stop looking happy. I hate you. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that takes so long. Alright, we are going to start some bonding events because um there's nothing more to do with the ship besides the quest. So Altina, let's start with her. Altina? Who are you talking to? Oh, Instructor Reen. Actually. Perfect timing. Would you mind giving this a listen, Reen? Oh, George. George. Oh, hey there, Reen. I heard about the Jaeger King situation. Glad you pulled through. Yeah, thanks. So, did you happen to have information concerning the workshop? Yeah. I actually have something I'd like to get Altina's confirmation on. Fear to get in touch with her via the Courageous 2. Something you want to confirm on? The headquarters for the Black Workshop is located at the base of the Greyborn Mountain Range. However, it appears to have been abandoned at some point. It is completely deserted now. What? You mean the place where I was held captive? 
The very same. Not only is Albert gone, but he took enormous stores of di uh, research data and experimental Zalbert sold outs with him. When I checked around this time yesterday, it had already been wiped clean. I had no idea they were planning anything like that. Maybe he simply wasn't trusted with the information. I was hoping I could get your thoughts on this, Altina. See, this is where you're originally from. I wish I had something useful to share. Unfortunately, my memory of that time is still a bit hazy. However, I think this might actually prove to be a good opportunity for us. How so? I'm trying to track them down now, but... So I can't really help directly, but... If you're interested, you should have enough time to investigate the workshop site before we need to head to the next shrine. Gotcha. Well, it definitely could be a good chance to find out new information. Though the probability of filing anything conclusive there is likely close to nil. Still, I don't think it would be an entirely fruitless endeavor. There could be intel on Zauber's soldats, S-weapons, and combat shells, and homunculi like me and Milliam. Altina. I've secured a tentative infiltration route. I know it's asking a lot of you to trust me, but give the mess I've made of things. If you do decide to go do this, though, please contact me through Altina. Yeah, you bet. I'll be making preparations just in case. We're going. We're helping Altina. The Black Quartz Shop is completely deserted. We don't know why, but this could be our chance to investigate it. There could be inter on Zalber soldats, S-weapons, combat shells, and homunculi like me and Milliam. Altina. It's understandable that it would be on her mind. It may be completely deserted, but it is the gnome's headquarters, so I think we're going to need some help. Should I get in contact with George and go investigate the Black Workshop? Yes. Let's go. Black Workshop. We need to consider the risk, but there's a lot of potentially gain by checking it out. Let's fill everyone in first, and then get in contact with George. Understood. I'll tell everyone right away. Oh boy. So we're going exploring for one. Marine brief onboard situation. About the situation, I received approval from the plan to investigate the Black Workshop. As a precaution, a small team tasked with infiltrating the facility was supported by the Courageous Two. Altina and Crow contacted George. He headed to the workshop using a teleportation gate that he had secret access to. Back again. This is my infiltration unit. So, this is the Black Workshop. There used to be Gnome's HQ, huh? They might still be using it in some capacity. You never know. Angelica, do you remember the last time we were here? Clear as day. Mass didn't mess with my memories from that time. You guys had taken on had to take on the Chancellor, the Steel Mating, the Blazing Demon all at once. It's crazy. But now that it's still unquiet, frankly, it's unsettling. Not a soul here besides us. It feels abandoned. These conditions are ideal for us. We can conduct our investigations without interference. So, what's the plan, guys? Okay, we'll go to the S-Weapon Lab. I've been curious about the origins of my Breaker and Shirley's Testarossa. My Berserker. When we met at Stargazer's Towers, we were enemies. Now we're working together. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, feels odd. Don't stab me the black in the back, please, Doobly. Dooby? Don't come up with pet names for me! As for us, we'll go check the combat shell in Zauber Soldat Research Lab. Maybe Albert left behind his research knows something. Highly doubt that. You're going to the homunculus lab, correct? Will, will you be okay? Yes. I've been there once before. When we came to save Instructorine. It's where Milliam and I were born. Maybe there's still something to learn there. Yes, maybe. Let's see what we can find. The Courageous Two will be patrolling the area around you. Return at once if you're in danger. We'll be waiting here. Let's know if anything goes wrong. Alright. Everyone knows what to do. So let's get started.
This is a one in a lifetime opportunity. I wasted so much time with Gaius. Holy. Yeah, guys have no idea. So this is it. Hmm. I think I know what these are. OZ series incubation tanks. Test subjects which failed to become million or me. They were discarded when we were born. That's disgustingly cool. The DG cult was researching something similar a few years ago. Instructor Ian. DG cult? That one's gonna go up. Huh? What the? An OZ Mirage. It's an archaism manufacturer at the Black Workshop based on Ouroboros designs. Seems to be inactive. Perhaps it malfunctioned and they left it behind when they moved to a new base. Huh? Oh. I regret the things I did when I was escaping. I didn't do anything to this particular unit, but still. I feel sorry for it. I live like this. Let me at least lean against it. Lean it against the wall. Instructor. <sighs> what was this again? What's this white capsule? It doesn't look like an incubator. I noticed it when we were here last. Because it is, it is in the area, it must have been involved in the OZ series research. It's deactivated and locked. Something about this bothers me, but it's not like we'll find out more just by looking at it. But why does it seem so familiar? Why is it so familiar? Oh, I thought you broke it. <laughs> Was that where you and Millie were born? Empty tanks. O seventy three, O seventy four, O Z. Wait, seventy three and seventy four. That's yes. These are the tanks where Milliam and I were grown. Oh. So this girl's my sister, huh? Milliam. Sorry, I don't know if we'll remember this, but when you get outside, let's make sure to meet up and play together, okay? How odd. This place is so lifeless and desolate. And yet, it fills me with nostalgia somehow. That's completely normal, Altina. It reminds you of your sisterly bond with Milliam. Yes, I suppose that must be it. The bond was once the only thing I knew I could trust. Both Millium and I were created for the sole purpose of becoming the sword. This knowledge was hidden from us and sealed deep within our memories, but we always sensed it. That's why I envy Millium. Martina. She sacrificed herself to protect those dear to her, even though it meant becoming the sword. I must protect. I must. Aww. Reen, Yuna, Kurt. You see, Ash, William, everyone. She wanted to protect. And that's what I wanted to. I wasn't afraid of what might happen to me. I'm sure it was that is precisely how Milliam felt as well. Although, the million that the spectral moon mirror showed us had regrets. Guess I should say sorry, though, for not being strong enough. <laughs> I wanted to be able to say, I saved the day that I helped protect everyone. But I never thought I'd cause you guys all this grief instead. I finally understood that myself. It dawned on me when you saved me at the Isengard Mountain Range the other day. Oh. I appreciate the sentiment, but please don't do that again. Talk things through with someone. Don't just run out on your own. Let's see. I was really panicked. Yes, I had never seen that much fear in your eyes before. 
it seems that even someone as dependable as you has a vulnerable side. Hey. So, during those moments of weakness, I want to be the one to protect you. Oh, Tina. That's kind of a... You've changed a lot, Altina. Though I'm not really sure if I've played a role in it, I'm really impressed by how you've grown. But thank you. I'm honored that you care so much about me, Altina. You're welcome. What's the matter? It's nothing. I just... I am experimenting an emotion I find difficult to put into words. It is different from what I feel towards Yuna or Kurt. How do I say it? It is joyous, but a bit suffocating, and there's warmth and excitement as well. <laughs> is this familial affection? Camaraderie? I've read about various kinds of love. Is this the same kind that Alyssa and Elise feel towards you? I, um, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe it's best if you take it easy. I'm sure you'll figure it out for yourself in time. I mean, you still have a lot to learn about feelings and stuff. Take it one step at a time. Instructor, it would seem you're trying to hide something. Uh, Perhaps you'd like to share? Or is your mind filled with inappropriate thoughts? It is not. Calm it down, child. <laughs> of course not. It's true that she's become more emotionally mature. I'm both happy and concerned thinking about her future. Aww. That was nice. Rina and Altina joined the team of members who, research, who searched the other areas, and they all returned to the ship through a portal. They didn't find the information they were after, but at least they discovered how many new Zobbers, Zoldats, Combat Shelts, and OZ Mirage units had been produced. Furthermore, they realized it was highly possible that the Black Workshop was moved to an entirely new location. You don't say! Oh, Valtina strengthened. Special moment with Valtina. Hey, Yuna, you're next on the list. Okay, I turn in, I tighten the strings and replace the grip too. Those balls won't know what to act them. Yuna, isn't that one of the tennis club's rackets? Yeah, it and the others swiped it from the academy for me. Even though they're in hiding, they took the time to send it over. I was thinking that maybe we could put up a net in the training hall and hold some practice matches, you know? Working up a sweat might help us get our heads together before we leave for Crossbell. I see. I'm proud of you taking the initiative like this. And here I was thinking she'd be a nervous wreck. Yuna versus Inner Saboteur. Score 15 love. <laughs> you know, you should stop by and check it out if you have a second instructor. It really helped me strengthen my resolve, let's say. Oh. Okay, I don't really know what that means, but if Yuna finds it helpful, let's go. You know, if we're gonna face off, then shouldn't we go somewhere a little nicer than training hall? You know, I bet security at the Leafs branch camp is pretty lax right now. Oh, <laughs> it probably is, isn't it? All right, let's do that. Prepare for a beatdown. I'm gonna beat you. I wish I, we could play like more more stuff. Like I really would would have liked to play tennis. Rin got in touch with Jessica and Luis and headed to Leaves. While his friends were collecting intel, he received permission to practice drills at the branch campus. Ha! Forty love. No more. I can't move. All right, let's keep it up. Oh boy, Yuna. Game set. Yuna wins. Great work, Yuna. <laughs> Not bad if I do say so myself. Who's next? Ah, oh, just those two? Alright. That was a good match. Yuna is up by two, Jessica is up by one, and Luis is down by two. <sighs> I wanted to get at least one win. Just what I expected, you know. You didn't give a thing away. I've tried picturing this in my mind a bunch. You two didn't make it easy for me, though. I think it's important to do your best even if you can't win. Do you have any regrets? Well, 
This was enough for us, but you know, might want to play more matches. We'll join the others. You two stay here and enjoy yourselves. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Overview. Thanks, guys. Instructor, can you play one last match with me? Me? I have read the rules, but I'm a total beginner. Oh, I'm sure you'll pick it up. With your physical abilities and that intuition, I think we're pretty evenly matched. But, um, if I win, can I ask a favor? Uh, sure, you know you're gonna win, but okay, that doesn't seem fair. But if we're doing this, I'm not gonna hold back. You don't even know how to play! Go ahead and give it everything you've got. Right. Green, Green and Yuna started their practice match. They both threw everything they had into it. The ball went back and forth as the match went on until the victor won with one final smash shot. Take this! Whoa. I did it! I did it! Yuna. <laughs> you got me. Good work. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away. But I really want to ask you to do something for me. I want you I want to tell you something and I don't want you to say anything until I finished. Of course, I can do that. I like you, instructor. Oh boy. I didn't even realize it at first. But I think I've felt this way for a while now. Ever since that day in Crossbell. The day you saved me. Wow, that's been a while then. Yuna. Hey, I said you couldn't talk until I'm done, remember? You're my instructor and I'm your student, so I definitely don't expect you to answer right away. But can you at least just think about what I've said? Oh. That was bold of her. <laughs> All right. What else can I say when you're asking me so earnestly? My position, the world, the curse I bear. There's so much I have to think about if I'm to know how to respond to her feelings. Yeah, that's a lot. After meeting up with the other members of the team, Rin and Yuna return to the Courageous too. Your bond with Yuna strengthened. Shared a special moment with Yuna. Yuna's tennis wear. Rain tennis wear, right? Right? No? Dang it! Ugh. Anyway, there is a quest. Uh, I saw it. I think uh, here? I think it was on the third floor. Hey, Dooley. Probably check you out later. Right? Yes. Here it is. Let's check it out. Okay, you guys are just fighting. Under four military combat maneuver 22 plunging slice. <sighs> How am I supposed to improve this attack? This isn't the only one giving me trouble. How the hell is it so difficult? Like I've said a million times, you're overthinking things, Wayne. It's not just recreating how a move works from the outside. You need to grasp the logic behind it. Not that I'm in a position to offer much advice. Jessica, Wayne, hey, you getting a bit of trading in? Instructor Ian. We are. In a certain sense, I've asked Jessica to observe me right now. Even though I know she wants to focus on her own training. I'm sorry, Jessica. I'm being selfish. Oh, I don't mind at all. In fact, observing your movements is good for my own training. It gives me another approach. I'm sorry I can't offer better advice. The Schleinus School does have its share of fencing techniques, but overall it's primarily focused on spears. Any help or advice I share just ends up being more conceptual than anything concrete. No, it's going to be helpful. It's proving to be a good reference for my improvement. But the way things are for me right now is... Not much. It's not so much who's giving me instruction or advice. 
It's a battle with myself. I must overcome my own limits. I won't keep you any longer, Jessica. You really should focus on your own training. I appreciate all the help. And you don't need to worry about me, Instructorine. I promise. Wayne. Hmm. He does make some good points. I would like to tie in Jessica's development too, seeing as she's here at all. Maybe I should call the girls in then? Yes, call them in. Alright. So I have an interesting proposal for you two. For the two of you. In the end, there's no better form of training than sparring. So we could find a way to make your training more meaningful. Just leave it up to me. Can I get you two to wait here for a moment? I Instructor Ian? I is he? Oh yes. Persistent study started. <sighs> How the hell did I wind up here? <laughs> you grumbled doobly, but you were kind enough to help out in the end, were you not? J just thought it would be good to get some exercise in. I'm just here for my benefit, that's all. <laughs> Instructor Ian, what? Hilaria Sayed and Duvali the Swift. Does this mean you're going to have a spar? You got it. You and Wayne are going to fight as a team. That's, um... I'll finally have the honor of seeing your slide in school techniques from up close, Jessica. One of my dreams have come true, thanks to you agreeing to be involved. But what's with this arrangement, Instructor Ian? Your 104 military combat fencing techniques adopt the forms of Arsade and Vander styles. And Dubali's sword technique, the basics of which she learned from the Steel Maiden, shares many points in common with Arsade style. You'll find much more to learn from them than my 8 leaves 1 blade style. The same can be said for Jessica's slide and school technique, of course. Yes, that's exactly right. That makes sense, so this is probably the ideal type of training for us. Seems like a real challenge, but that just means it's, that it's truly worth doing. <laughs> Let's get started. Won't be keen easy on either of you. Nor I. I want to see both of you reach new heights. It'll be the groundwork for your future development. N yes, ma'am. Understood. Now draw oh, your boy. weapons. Show us the strength that dwells within you. Ooh. Do I have anything shining insight status? Mm. Cures KO to oh, let me do this. It was insight on both. It's off balance. Uh what? Okay, guess not. Person mirror, doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh, this is good for us. There we go. Piercing bullets, impede. Alright, I'm gonna do this first. That did nothing for us. Or mine. Take this. Mm. I'll give you Earth Pulse. Defenses. I'm just buffing first. There we go. Earth 
son. Yeah. I need to impede her, but I'm not sure if Wayne has impede. Nope. Withstand Might as well anything. Ha! Perfect guard and strength up. <laughs> Try and see through this. Oh, I'm just a bit. Alright, um, Laura or just, uh, Jubilee? Gotcha. Okay, this again? <gasps> oh, Frozen. Nice. I don't have crap. I don't have a... Shining again to get that uh, insight bonus again. You, mm. Isn't inside supposed to like? Okay, there we go. Got you. Okay, damage. Go defense down. Go, Wayne. There. I need to buff again. No, they're after Jessica right now. improve our defenses again. I don't want to lose this. Yeah. Got you. Out. Triple counter. Shining. Get me? Oh, I've only got Jessica. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, I didn't freeze me. Good. Or mine. Finish it. Got you. I didn't hit. Why do believe? Impressively done. Go. Right, piercing blitz. As your favor. Oh boy. Or mine. Let me just heal up. There we go, now we continue again. Piercing bullets. To, I need to earth pulse 
shot me. Wait, shiny is not even in range. It's an earth pulse. Uh, earth pulse him. Go. Blitzer. Defense down. We all knew they have a they had S crafts. I'm impressed. Good job. A Did it say AP conditions met? What? Or was I just crazy? This had AP? That's enough. I, I think we just made it. All right. So we're at our limit there. You both kept up marvelously. I suppose you can say that. <laughs> that was pretty brilliant, you two. I hope you both feel like you got some, a lot out of this. I did. Yeah, this was a great help. It was nice being able to help to identify areas that we that I that need improvement. <laughs> you do well with it, Jessica. I must say, the stiffness I felt before the match has completely disappeared. Here, yeah, I could tell just by watching. Looks like you unconsciously absorbed Laura and Ugly's techniques, and even Jessica's too. In any case, it looks like repetitive trading might actually be a counterproductive approach for you. I understand the struggle. Learning to let the tension fade from your shoulders is actually quite difficult. Sometimes you simply must swing recklessly without giving much thought to anything in particular. But thank you, Laura. I'll keep that in mind. You also need to rely on those around you. Take a look around you and find yourself surrounded by many capable warriors. It'd be a crime not to seek their advice. <laughs> what are you looking at? Took me that look who's talking face. <laughs> I was thinking the opposite, actually. Agreed. I was just thinking that you've changed quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and it's a bit cute, too. Yes, I agree. Anyhow, you've both given me some... Getting invaluable experience here thank you persistence study completed zeus gem an 8000 mirror and thor's unity reading increased an ap increased by two let's go why is jessica a thing now anyway i am going to do this training off camera because um yeah that's what she offers it's training I'm going to do it off camera because you already saw it and eh, I don't think it's going to be that much of a big prize anyway. Just probably what I had before. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to complete doing more quests and two bonding events. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos like I am, please leave a like, comment and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join no. the like on me today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.